I'm Jessica McBride, and I'm the founder of Tech Savvy Assistant. Today, we're going to go over how to create an engaging board newsletter using Canva. Follow along, and I'll show you how. The first step that I've taken actually isn't in Canva, but it's a chat GPT. I didn't know what needed to go into a board newsletter, what would make it engaging, so I've gone to ChatGPT and I've asked it to provide me a template for an engaging newsletter that I can now take and personalize to Canva. Now that I have uh, my newsletter outline, I'm going to go to Canva. If you've never used Canva before, it is canva.com. They have two different layers of um, memberships. You can Try out the basic one free. It doesn't have as many cool features, um, but I do use the pro license uh, for my business. So this is the starting place. You're going to go and search for a newsletter. And you'll see that Canva naturally has a lot of different newsletter templates that you can start from. So you can go through and select whichever one you think is the best fit for your company. I have already selected one that I think that I would like to use, primarily because uh, it uses this shade of pink. I'd like to just change this to my color pink. And that's just part of the things that we can change. So come along and I'll show you how we can personalize this newsletter. The first thing that I wanna show you before we start getting into personalizing the template for the newsletter is the ability to bring in your brand's identity before you begin to do this work. So if you go to the brand tab in Canva, uh, they have this place where you can kind of control and put presets for your colors, your logos, anything like that. Uh, I don't have my logo uploaded, but you'll be able to pick out your color palette. If you know your hex codes, you can easily search it by the hex codes. So those are my colors that I already have in there. Um, these are some fonts that I selected and I regret to this day, but um, I'm with them now. So it is what we're doing. You can additionally add your brand voice. So this is kind of like how you tune ChatGPT to sound like yourself. So we're gonna give it some guidelines describing how to write in our brand voice. So I've entered in just kind of a little bit about how my voice of my brand is, and we can hit save. And this, if we use the magic right, we'll be able to make it sound more like our brand versus having to manually do it each time. All right, now that we have kind of tweaked our brand and out of the brand voice a little bit, we can go in and continue to personalize this newsletter. So our first section is going to be um, the executive director's message to the company. Okay, so I've added my first little section, the executive director's message to the company. Now, I just want to continue to keep this very similar, so I'm just going to duplicate that header. And we'll move on to our next section. So our next section will be a spotlight. So we're just going to remove that. Be a volunteer spotlight, this could be an employee spotlight, whatever you feel like is fitting for your organization at this time. Obviously, that's too much text, so I'm just going to make it a little smaller and then have it go out a little further. And it's totally fine, you don't have to be completely consistent. It's not the end of the world if things aren't perfect. Now, I have a lot more sections than I use space at the moment, so I'm going to remove these photos for the time being. We can always go back and add some personalization later on. But also anticipating the fact that I probably do have more sections than I have space at the moment, before I go much further, I'm going to duplicate the second page. Okay, so now I have a lot more space to play with. Here we're going to put in a client success story. And I will just use this text box that I so kindly left for myself already. Okay. Additionally, we'll copy this and we're going to do a volunteer um, update. Sorry, I had to read off my notes over here. Okay. We'll copy this text box as well. Staying pretty consistent. 
think over here we will add the fundraising updates. Duplicate the fundraising updates. Obviously, this is working spectacularly for me. Uh, we will do a board member profile. And this could be a place where you put in a photo of the board member as well. Okay. Now we will go to the last page. And this is going to have an educational section, an acknowledgments, and a call to action. So now we've added the educational section. We're going to do some acknowledgments. And the last area of interest will be the call to action. Okay, so now we've kind of got the basic outline of the stuff that we want to include. Now that we've added um, our outline in, we can begin to kind of modify and personalize it to our organization. So first we're going to change this color to my color, my pink. And we are going to do that consistently throughout the document. So all of these will be pink. Notice that there is a typo here, so always want to uh, double check your work, make sure that you're not sending things out with mistyped words like that. Okay. Now we'll go in and we're going to modify the sidebar. The first thing that we'll do is we're going to change the overall color. See how it looks with a different color. Mm, don't like that. Do you like the purple? We'll keep the purple. And we're going to make sure that the sidebar matches the features. So we're going to update this to say spotlight. We'll duplicate that and we will add the client success story. We'll fix the spacing um, in just a few minutes. Don't worry, I'm not going to leave it like this. All right, so as you can see, I have put all of these sections here on the sidebar. So now we can continue to personalize it a little bit more, see if there's a place that we could maybe add an image. So we don't actually need this executive director's message here because the executive director has a message up here. So we can repurpose this and add some more stimulating content. So we're just going to hit delete. We're going to remove all of this that is currently here. I'm going to move the fundraising updates down to the bottom. We have this additional space now. And I'll move the board profile over here, board member profile. And we're going to actually insert a photo. We're just going to pretend that you have a photo of them and that I'm not just creating a creepy person on AI, but I'll show you how to create a creepy person on AI as well. So we're going to head over to the apps section. And over here, there's going to be something called magic media. And this is an AI image generator. So we're just going to ask for a woman. All right, we're going to ask for a red-handed woman dressed professionally.
there we are. Okay, so I'm gonna go and we're just going to see if we can put this in here or I might need to put a frame. I might just do a frame just to make it look better, but so we'll start here. And then of course the write-up about our wonderful board member will be below. Okay. And say that we do want to maybe put a nice border around it, we can always go to elements. And there's going to be a way that we can search for border. I think the word actually that I'm looking for is frame. So we'll go over here and see if this is what I'm thinking. Yes. Okay. So I would rather do a round frame and then just bring her photo. This is where it gets a little messy. Okay. So let's shrink it down a little bit. Make sure it's centered. And then we're going to drag this photo in there. There you go. Now we have this lovely board member photo profile. Okay. I'm going to create an image as well for the fundraising updates. So we're just going to look for something kind of generic, like a financial chart. Here are our charts. I'm just going to take this one, pop it over here, shrink it down. Pretend that these are very lovely financial updates that everybody's going to be super excited to see. Okay. All right, onto our last page. So we have this area down here, and we have the executive director's message. So let's personalize these areas as well. The thing that we could do, um, this could be fun, is we can take a QR code, we can create a QR code. So say in our call to action, we want them to go and donate to a certain website. We can collect the create a QR code, and I'm just gonna use my website for example, and say generate code. And now it creates this QR code that when they use their phones, they can use it to easily go to the website that we're doing the call to action to. I realized that I didn't put upcoming events on the newsletter. So I think that maybe we'll use this bottom portion here to be upcoming events so that we have them on record. And then of course we want to make sure that we change that color to be along the same lines as the other ones. Obviously that's not working. So we'll do it in the pink. Okay, so this is the newsletter. We're going to make sure, maybe we'll change this picture as well. So for the background image, I just used the AI image generator again. I asked for something AI inspired in mauve or purple. Uh, this is what it gave me. I'm not sure if I'd actually go with that, but we are running out of time. So pick a picture that you think fits your organization. This is the newsletter. And obviously you would go in and make sure that everything is personalized. It has all your contact information. But I think it's a great way to start playing around because um, it can be kind of boring to just write like a general newsletter. So it's something fun, a little bit more interesting to look at. Uh, you would obviously modify this name up here. So we're just going to say company newsletter. And then if you wanted to save this to send out, you would go to download. And then I would select the PDF standard. And then you just hit the download button. And that is how you can create a corporate board newsletter in Canva. So thanks so much for your time. Um, please give me a follow at techsavvyassistant.com. And I'd love to connect and chat about how you're using AI and technology in your admin role.